in my eyes, my dad was, you know, invincible. You know, he was always my Superman. He passed away from colon cancer in 1999. My dad grew up in Guyana, South America, and he loved boxing and ended up boxing for Guyana. And he eventually represented them in the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome. He was sparring partners with Muhammad Ali, so they used to train together. He was, you know, about 6'2-ish, you know, 200, 220, um, very muscular and was very fit. When he started, you know, having symptoms in his early 50s, the doctor just told him, well, you know, you look healthy, you know, so you're, you're fine. So here I am, you know, without a dad, because when he had symptoms, he was ignored. How are you doing? Good. No one deserves to be ignored or not listened to. What you're doing is taking care of a human life, and you can't take that lightly. I don't take it lightly at all. It's been years since my father's passing, but it's not a day that goes by when I don't think about him or even see some of him in me. I've been, you know, wearing this chain um, that he had given me, and you know, I've never, you know, I haven't taken it off since. You know, so this is this is the chain, you know, that he had that was given to him, you know, back in South America. One of the, the reasons why I love working at Wild Cornell Medicine, New York Presbyterian Hospital, is because of all of the great physicians that are here. I tried to say to myself, well, what kind of physician would I have wanted for my father? And that's the kind of person that I am today.